like to introduce now Anthony Vasquez for the class of 2000. If you would please remain standing for the national anthem. The words to the anthem are in the program at the back. Hey, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled and her yet wait for the land of the free and the home of the brave. In order for them to make the world we live in a better place, make life with its problems a little bit easier for them to face. Grant our graduating class the faith and courage to put purpose in their days and show them how to serve thee in effective ways. Let their education, their knowledge, and their skill help them to find their true fulfillment as they continue to learn to do thy will. May they always be aware in everything they do that knowledge comes from learning and wisdom comes from you. St. John Vianney, pray for us. Our Lady, Queen of the Angels, intercede for us and guide us always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy. It has been a joy for us to be a part of your lives for four years. We are very proud of each and every one of you, especially your accomplishments. And we have often told you that the fundamental purpose of an education is to liberate you from your ignorance in order for you to be free. Higher education will continue to open the doors of the world to you. Do not stop learning, ever. Hold learning dear to your heart and be proud to call yourselves noble men. Continue to live our pledge, serve God by serving others. From all of the faculty, we wish all the best for all of you. We will begin our by Mr. Jan Benedict. To the most honorable representative of its eminence, Cardinal Roger Mahoney and Chancellor of the Los Angeles Di Archdiocese, Sister Mary Elizabeth Gold. To our principal, Mr. Munoz. To our vice principal, Mrs. Kinderman. To the faculty of Daniel Murphy Catholic High School. To our honored guests and the class of 2005. We are gathered today under the ash white skies to this point in time and space to witness the progression of a cycle, a cycle best described by the impermanence of things. All things that have a beginning also have an end, yet the nature of these things does not explicitly lead to a rigid linearity, despite having a termination and a commencement. We can safely say that this commencement is more than that word. It is, however, different. Yet the nature of these things does not explicitly lead to a rigid linearity, despite having a termination and a commencement. We can safely say that this commencement is more than that word. It is, however, difficult to define when ends are agreeable. Yet, I am human. And as someone who had experienced those four years, I am willing to speak on the behalf of my classmates that those four years for those who had experienced them as we did, were agonizingly slow, as each one of us experienced only any other words, because they have only empty meaning, in looking beyond what we have at this moment, and the place where we currently stand. We are here, after a mere blink of an eye that we call four years, and compared to the rest of our lives, nay, 
to the history of humanity and the unwritten history of the universe. The statement that declared the abruptness of those four years is mere small talk. For some jaded, detached, immortal observer, or cynicism in one form or another, especially as time drew closer to this moment, we grew increasingly afflicted with disease called senioritis, as teachers bombarded us with assignments, tests, projects, and for those in Miss Naples' English class, recitations. <laughs> Ironically, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty phase from day to day to the last syllable. This statement presents inevitable hardships. It has been evident that us become what we are, our teachers, our parents, and our friends. Thank you. Our leader and principal, uh, Mr. Dennis Mignon. Thank you. Of hopes and dreams for you. The future is yours. We ask God's blessings in your lives and ask that the pillars of character and the noble pledge continue with strong values that you will live by. I pray that the knowledge and values you have obtained here at Daniel Murphy Catholic throughout your four years will assist you and guide you to a world that will challenge you in every way, spiritually, morally, and intellectually. We are a nation at war. Young men and women are making great sacrifice faced with issues regarding the sanctity of life, the freedom of peoples, and the rights that people have to peace, dignity, and prosperity. You are going to be challenged as other generations before you. You are going to be challenged to take up many causes and issues as you go through life. Your sense of values will be tested. Life will give you many rewards, many joys, many moments of great satisfaction and accomplishment. And yet the mystery of life is such that we also need to value sacrifice, hard work, delayed gratification, disappointment, sorrow, and suffering for the good and the love of others. And so, I ask you to spend your life reflecting, pondering, evaluating, and praying. Much of this can be accomplished first and foremost by listening. As you are doing now, listen to the world around you. Listen to what others have to say. Athletic department who best exemplifies both the individual and team spirit of dedication, excellence, and love of competition on and off the athletic field. This year's noble athlete lettered in three sports, football, basketball, and baseball. He earned all league honors in football and baseball. His demeanor on the field exemplified our noble spirit. The recipient of the Noble Athlete of the Year Award is Christopher Perriott. now behind you and you can enjoy this long anticipated moment in a very short time you will actually have that diploma in your hand I am sure you're experiencing another emotion that of some sadness you are leaving behind in a sense 
your youth, a wonderful school, longtime friends and classmates. You are leaving teachers who care about you and spend time with you, encouraging you, loving you, and I think perhaps once in a while, perhaps disciplining you. However, I did hear in the faculty room before uh, why we were waiting for you to process out how much the faculty really care about you and will miss you. For my remarks this morning, I would like to briefly explore two points that I think are important for you to ponder on your graduation day. The first is another emotion I hope you are feeling this morning, and that is the emotion of gratitude. I look out at you graduate. <laughs> Adon Esperidion Alvarez. Thomas Yulin Chin. Sean Kingsley Cunningham.
blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, Lord, we ask you to shed down all your blessings on this wonderful class of 2005. May they prosper. May they be able to bear the challenges you put before them. On with our Above all, we ask you, O oh Lord, to make them always to be noble men who do noble things. May the Lord bless you, protect you from all evil, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. John Vianney. Pray for us. Our Lady, Queen of the Angels. Receive for us, God, as always. All right. All right. Mr. Sheehan, please. For the alma mater. Praise the be for Bionni and victory. Choose me. 